Hello, everybody. You've tuned into the Indiana State Police Roadshow brought to you by the Indiana State Police Alliance, Cops for Kids, subsidiary of the Indiana State Police Alliance. We want to thank them for their continued support of the Indiana State Police Roadshow. I want to thank my guest today, Master Trooper Patrick Etter. Thank you for being in here, Pat. You're welcome. I Thanks appreciate you me, coming man. in here. As you can see, Pat's uh, coming in right off the job. He was had a busy morning. You've had a busy last three mornings. You guys have been rolling. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Yeah. But about 1,000 miles on the car. <laughs> been in every... 1,000 miles, been in every part of Indiana, and had two hours of sleep. That's a good time. Yeah, two hours in about <laughs> eight days. Yeah, yeah. About two hours a night, though, the last four days. Well, beside him is Southport Police Chief Tom Vaughn. Tom, thank you for coming in with us. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you guys coming in here early and being with us. And we got something that we're talking about uh, this time. It's very, very important, something that Pat's been involved, heavily involved with, and uh, we have a lot of police officers that are involved in this, something that's very, very uh, needed uh, this time of the year, and uh, it's the Pat Bartram Memorial Christmas for Kids, and let's kind of back up and get the background on this. You guys raise money for this every year. There's a lot of money because you're going to be doing a lot of kids, so let's talk about the events that have rolled into this. I know one of them was new this year, and that was the Metro Diner helped you guys out, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we uh, Metro Diner opened a, a new restaurant in Plainfield. Mm-hmm. And uh, just so happened, Kim Bartram was at another Metro Diner event where they were raising some money. And, and Kim and, is a uh, sister of Pat Bartram, who's yes, the, and uh, and one of the co-founders of the uh, of our foundation. So she went to them with um, what we do, and they were very happy to help that out. And uh, so they donated their full day of sales. Their restaurant. Uh, they pretty much opened it up. Yeah, they opened it up, and one hundred percent of their Everything they received that day went to our foundation. So I believe we raised um, a little over six thousand dollars at just that day from Metro Diner. And that was that was kind of unique. It was grand. I know you put out uh, put in reservations, and I think you got over Rand, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, we had way more than uh, they could handle. But they wanted to push the restaurant to yeah. the limits, and I believe they did. <laughs> they were they were, but they were very happy. So. Yeah, and that's and happy uh, to help us out for what we're doing. That's grand. That's wonderful. And then you've had a couple other uh, restaurants help you out also. Mm -hmm. Yep. We um, went to Texas Roadhouse in uh, Greenwood there, or Southport, Southport yeah. at that Southport location. They did 10% of their sales um, from 4 to 10 that night, so it was a little over $1,000. Um, Tom and his uh, some of his volunteers from the PD and the wives of a lot of the Southport police officers did mm -hmm. one at Kroger. Yeah, we just did one at Kroger a couple of weeks ago. Uh, okay. where they were at the entrance asking for donations when they came in. And I think they made right around $1,000 that day also. Wow. Yeah. That's excellent. That's good. So we've had the restaurants kick in. And then probably the biggest thing you do every year is the Pat Bartram Memorial Motorcycle Ride. The bike ride is still our biggest event. And um, so we compete with some other bike rides that day. It's it's the first Saturday. Pretty much during the July summer, 4th. you're going to yeah. compete with something. There's something going on. <laughs> yeah. And, every uh, day. Well, we started, we had great weather, pretty good turnout, and we actually made a little more money off our auction mm -hmm. this year than I believe any other year we've done the ride. So we were very happy, even with not as many bikes as we wanted, that um, we had some very generous people that came to the uh, the auction and dinner and um, – and, uh, helped us out in that way so between all of these events we've been able to raise quite a bit of money this year and um of course kim likes to stack that number up every year you know yeah. it started with 100 kids one year um and then it went to 150 and then i'd kind of freak out a little bit uh, logistically doing that and um so this year um she's really been on a mission to put 300 kids through and uh, she told me the other day she's only a few shy of having actually those numbers in yes. place. Wow. And um, so, and I believe she was just waiting on some confirmations if people were coming or not. So I believe she, we are going to do 300 kids this year. 250 at the Walmart um, in Greenwood, which is at Emerson and, so and County Line Road. Okay. And then we're doing another 50 kids um, at the Meyer store in Greenwood on 135 just north of Smith Valley. So let's back up a little bit, um, and maybe people that aren't aware of this, how this got started, what happened. Um, give a little background on, on this whole event, how it got started. Well, Trooper Pat Bartram was killed in the line of duty in 1998, and um, he always participated in 
the local shop of the cop through the FOP and mm-hmm. and uh, and those events. And uh, so after he uh, was killed in line to do that year, his family wanted to continue um, to support that that cause. So they started. Uh, Kim put on a, a motorcycle ride and raised money for that event and donated it to the Indiana Troopers Association. So they did the Trooper Bartram Christmas for kids. And that money went all over the state to troopers to take kids shopping uh, for Christmas. Right. And um, so that just kept evolving, evolving, evolving until about four, four years now, five years now. Um, Kim came to me and said, I want to start our own uh, memorial foundation and uh, do this on our own. The Indian Troop Association had disbanded. And now it's just the State Police Alliance that kind of runs all of that for the troopers. And um, she had been giving that money to the FOPs to do the same thing with, but she wanted to do her own. And so we do this in addition to what the FOPs do in other organizations. Um, so we kind of cross-check, and what they can't do, we pick up you that pick up slack on. and make sure that um, we hit all these different communities. And, and then if a trooper in another part of the state can't make it and he needs some help, we can, we can give some money to them to take a – uh, some gift cards to them take a child shopping in a different location even. right so um and we did that a lot last year for for good people that um identified so a lot of these troopers will identify right where other officers identify kids that, that are in need in in different locations and call us up and say hey i want to help this family out and we're able to do that and i know sometimes that calls it comes just on a call they're out on a call on mm-hmm. on something and run across this family many say, times and troopers had called me last year and said hey i had this case involving these children and they personally know that they're having difficulties. Can I bring them to shopping? And I uh, say, yeah, you're more welcome to. Yeah, that's and and they roll right in with them with yeah. the police car. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they they were. If you can't have, if you don't have transportation, um, we can try to make that happen. Usually, I encourage the parents to bring their kids and and help with the shopping, so they know what sizes they need. They know yep. exactly what they need. Um, I, we've talked about this before. How difficult it is for me <laughs> to take a, a three year old girl shopping. Um, yeah, but it's always good to have you give it the girls. We always try and give yeah, you the girls. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. That's why I bring my wife. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I did, a lot of the troopers will bring their wives. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Uh, say, what, what is this? On, yeah. What size does this work? You know, so, yep, yep. So, um, so we encourage uh, the families and the troopers' families, and it's kind of uh, everybody comes together to make this event happen. But it's not only troopers. It's uh, these guys right here, Southport PD, exactly. show up in an army. Yeah. I mean, they've yeah. been there every year. It looks like Southport PD's. A roll call. Yeah, um, I, yeah. I believe uh, that's, uh, that's what we did. Roll two call or three or four years ago, mm-hmm. um, we reached out. I reach out to every police department that I can put on my list. Um, sheriff's departments, police departments, and um, we reached fire out departments, to Tom. EMS. Fire departments, EMS. We had a football team show up. Football team yeah. showed up to help pack stuff up. And yeah. uh, So when we reached out to Tom, um, and I'll let him talk about that a little bit, they showed up in, in force. Yeah, the whole, the whole entire yeah. department, I believe. Uh, the entire department. One of the the biggest contributors been there. It was uh, Lieutenant Allen. Yeah, and it was it was uh, amazing the number of Southport police officers there. But this year they're kind of doing in memorial of Lieutenant Allen. Right, mm-hmm. and because yeah. he was one of our main volunteers or, or con- volunteered every year, and uh, with with Tom and those guys. Right. One of the things like we were talking about earlier where you have an incident, you run into a family, and that's how you find out that they need help. That was kind of Aaron. The The first year we actually did the um, Trooper Bartram Christmas with kids, um, we'd actually um, had a family whose her husband had a uh, brain tumor, and she lost her job. And they had a, I think it was three or four-year-old daughter, and uh, she couldn't get him back and forth to the hospital. So Aaron went over to O'Reilly's and bought a battery for a car. And that's kind of how we got in touch with her. Um, about that same time as when Kim reached out. That was my first year as the police chief. Okay. And everybody just, uh, you know, wanted to jump on board. So I think we ended up with 34 or 36 officers last year. I believe went so. to it. Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, I've seen all the Southport uniforms there. That was It was nice. I mean, it was just a bunch of guys. And you guys have just embraced this whole event. Yeah. And what you do for it is just amazing. But it's not only that. It's, like we said, fire, EMS, mm-hmm. civilian employees come. Um, it's it's a whole yeah, day of fun for the kids. Um, dispatchers. people, whoever wants to come, we yeah. invite to help. And, and, and it's kind of a fun morning because you have food there for them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Walmart and the Meyer both will supply food for the kids to eat. 
um, and some drinks, and and for the police officers, they helped themselves also. <laughs> and, uh, uh, but there's fire trucks outside. There's uh, police, police cars. cars. Mm-hmm. Usually, yeah. Trooper Teddy's there. Yeah, Trooper Teddy uh, confirmed that, she, that, that she's gonna. Uh, she, he, he's he's gonna be there. Trooper Teddy will be there. Okay. Okay. And uh, <laughs> and there, our robot dog uh, Duke Duke will be there again this year. Good. Santa Claus. Santa I believe Claus will be there. So does yeah. that mean we need to bring our mascot, Justice? Absolutely. Sure. Yeah. Right. Oh, we'll yeah. Justice, then. Yeah, absolutely. We can have a good time with both of them. But it, Yeah. And th- this year's going to be a little uh, special for us. Um, we kind of, Kim came to me and said, I really want to dedicate this event this year to uh, Lieutenant Allen because he was always a volunteer for us. Um, and everything he did to go beyond what he really needed to do, just like Tom was talking about. And, and he he was doing that kind of thing all the time for right. Southport police. Yeah. yeah. And um, so so this year's event is is really in dedication to him. Um, it's not so much the Trooper Bartram. It's the Trooper Bartram Foundation. But it, Kim always wanted to stress it's for all survivors. We, we invite all police survivors and their families um, to come and participate. And uh, so, so this year's event's dedicated to Trooper Allen. And, you know, Southport has really stepped up this year and, helped our organization tremendously. Um, all those guys and their wives have come to all of our events and volunteered. Uh, 100% of everything that we raise goes into, into That's our That's what I was going to say. There's nobody paid on nobody this. Nobody's paid no. for us. So, um, and, you know, we encourage our sponsors to come out and participate too. So you can see exactly where your money's going. And we spend around $125 uh, per child. So at 300 um, kids this yeah. year, um, we're going to be spending a lot of money. So we're still trying to raise a little money um, this year, but we'll make it happen. So what so, uh, what time are you looking at? I, and give the location again where we're going to be at. Uh, so on the 9th, right. December 9th, we're going to go to the Meyer in Greenwood. Okay. Um, and that's uh, going to be for... Uh, where, where's that at, Tom? The Meyer in uh, Greenwood? Oh, it's on... Uh, it's 135, 135 just north of Smith Valley Smith Road. Valley. Okay. I don't have the exact address yeah. with me, but... Um, what time is where. that? Um, it'll be 9.30, okay. I believe. And that that's going to be for a special group of special needs kids coming from... Cornerstone. Cornerstone. That yeah. kind of holds a special place in your heart there, It too. does, yeah. I have an autistic grandson who actually goes to Cornerstone... Um, so this event's kind of special because we're taking a smaller amount of kids um, so they don't get overwhelmed. Right, um, yeah. And we can spend more time with them and, you know, do some shopping with them. So, yeah, that one hits uh, really close to home with me, too. Good, good, good. So that's on the 9th. So that's on the 9th. Okay. And then um, and I believe we have 45 confirmed. We're trying to get a few, there was a few more, so 50 mm-hmm. kids there. And then on the 16th, um, we'll, we'll do our, our bigger event um, at the Walmart in – it's a Greenwood Walmart. It's at um, Emerson Avenue at County Line Road. Okay. And the address is uh, 1133 North Emerson. What time does that start? Um, that's going to be starting at 930 also. The police officers will start arriving around 915 to 930, and the kids will show up around 930 or so. And then our program will kick off right at 10. Um, we'll have a short program um, where we do a little bit of talking, and then we'll um, we'll pair up uh, the kids with police officers and volunteers and and uh, with their list of things they need for Christmas, and um, send them out shopping. And if you've never seen this, <laughs> it's amazing. It's, it's controlled a, chaos. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's a sea of blue and brown and green. If you can imagine 250 children with their parents or a parent, and then uh, you know all these police officers, yeah, yeah. of every agency, yeah, from that's DNR why I said COs, to to police yeah, sheriff, police officers, state police, conservation. Uh, uh, corrections everybody's there everybody's so. there yeah. and, and then they bring uh, their spouses usually to help yeah, them shop yeah. so yeah it's yeah. a kind it's of overwhelm the store well we got about a minute left so uh guys thank you for coming in i appreciate you being here appreciate all that you guys do for this and uh, it's it's grand to see now lieutenant allen's uh wife's going to be there you say yeah. and father yeah stacy allen will be there and uh, jim and Lori allen which is his parents will also be there that day good good excellent well we're glad to have them there and it's good to see that Kim's doing this and Pat and thank you for what you guys do and and if you've not been there come it's something that you'll never forget yeah and if you want to help us out yeah please come out and uh, see what's going on help donate help raise money for us and uh, or if you just want to take a kid shopping and there you go <laughs> we'll let you do that too well again you're listening to the Indiana State Police Roadshow brought to you by the Indiana State Police Alliance cops for kids subsidiary of the Indiana State Police Alliance thank you for listening make sure that you get out and support this uh, very worthwhile cause 
It's a great event, great, great goings-ons there. So we'll talk to you again next week. Roadshow out.